Hey everyone, this is Erin Lincoln. I'm here to show you how to put in the kerchief stitching die for your softies from the Quick Stitch Kit Design a Softie Kit releasing, releasing May 1st. It's a lot like the tie and collar. What you're gonna do is you're gonna die cut all these little pieces. There's two tails, one knot. This is the second tail. You know, it's odd. Depending on what color felt you use, some cut better than others. I can see the borders here, so I can use my scissors to just snip it away. It's all about the color dye. I don't, I don't know the specifics, but I have noticed. And this little knot piece, you're going to want to cut two of. And you also want to cut two of the main kerchief piece that goes across the body of the softie, because one goes on the front and one goes on the back. Just run it through. Now I suppose you can decide how many of these little pieces you want to use for your kerchief, all the extra, the tails and the knots. It ends up being like six layers of felt hanging off the right side of the softy, which you know is a lot. So we're going to put it together as intended and of course when you're designing it yourself you do whatever you want. Okay we have the um, Softy bodies, the front is marked with holes for the belly patch. That's how I know which one's the front and which one's the back. We're going to use this edger style die to put in the holes for the kerchief. Now, one side works better than the other. And what you're going to have to do with this one, just lift it up and make sure the holes are aligned to that one hole that is in the neck notch. It's really easy to do once you get it and you see what I'm talking about. Um, but it definitely works better in one orientation over another. All right, we have our holes. We're gonna do the same thing to the back. Now I just realized the, um, the edger style die here, it is wider on one side and then the other. And so the wider portion, it's slightly wider, <laughs> goes down towards the body, whereas the more narrow, it kind of angles in, goes toward the head. So that's a really great way for you to position this and know you have it right. There you go. And it goes right in there at the knot. Okay, I did the back already. The knot faces to the left when it's facing you. And if you notice, the edges aren't stitched down. And we're gonna do the same thing here. Because this is the front of the softy body and the knot hangs to the right, um, that's the way it's positioned. It's different on the back. We're gonna completely disregard that knot. We're gonna do the second hole in the softy body and the third hole in the body of the kerchief, disregarding that knot portion. And I don't know why I have so much trouble <laughs> here. Sometimes it just doesn't work out for me, <laughs> but we got it, yay. Okay, now you're gonna stitch all the way over to the third hole from the end on the top of the kerchief. Just a running stitch every other, and then we reverse like we always do, and go back to that starting point. All right, we're reversing. There should be two holes in this line that you did not touch with your needle. We save those till later. Okay, and here is the last stitch. We stitch as a softy body, but the bottom of the kerchief is not stitched to the softy body, so you Pull your needle up between the two layers of felt. And right here, we just stitch the red kerchief part. Just lift it up. So it kind of, you know, it just, it's kind of a flap. It just lays like a regular kerchief would. And so we're gonna sew a running stitch all the way to the end, the third hole. Again, there should be two holes in this line that are not stitched and we reverse it. And then we tie it off in the back. It is a little tricky because remember this is not sewn down. We can't lift up. So you use your needle and go through that original hole between the layers of the kerchief and the body and tie it off in the back. Okay, the rest of this gets completely assembled as you would in the basic softy tutorial. Um, and when you stitch the edge of the softy up. You just lift your kerchief up 
and you don't stitch the kerchief at all. We do this at this point. See the edges aren't stitched down, but the softy is all sewn together. What you're gonna do, we're gonna finish this off on one end, is you pull your thread through between the body of the pig, in this case, and the kerchief, and then you uh, stitch it through all the layers. You stitch it through the body and the arm, and as long as you're placing your needle in the corresponding holes between the back and the front kerchief, you're fine. We don't really care what happens in between. But they do line up, and it makes this look seamless and wrapped around. I said before, this is just like the tying collar. So if you've done that, or you wanna check that video out, um, same thing, just five stitches right through the body and you end up slipping your needle between the kerchief and the body at the final stitch and tying your knot off. Cutting it and then hiding the ends. Okay, and we do the same on the other side, but we completely disregard the knot. So I did that off camera because it's the same thing. And now we're gonna do this knot thing. So we have two knots, we have two tails, and we have the portion that is on the body of the kerchief. I, I would line things up in this way. First you do a knot, then you do a tail, you find the corresponding holes, they all line up. You go through the two layers of the kerchief. One more tail. Make sure this tail's kinda spread in opposite direction so it looks like a kerchief bow. And then the top knot. All the holes line up. Um, I slipped that back knot off because I wanna hide my thread so I'm gonna actually add that in here at the last bit. It's okay, it oriented me originally, and I would do it again this way, I would, absolutely. Because you know, you're working with like six layers of felt here, all the holes totally line up, but you definitely have to take your time, watch the needle go through each hole, I think for about three holes, and then everything gets set. Um, but it does, it's a little finicky, um, you can do it. I really thought all the holes in the middle, like the two tails and then the two knot portions that are part of the kerchief matter. And it would really matter to get that needle through every single corresponding hole. Really, I don't think it matters too much as long as the holes on the knots on either side, you know, the top knot and the bottom knot, the bottom layer and the top layer, as long as you get your needle through the corresponding holes of those, and it, keep in mind, it's driven through those four layers of inner felt, you're fine. I mean, this doesn't have to be a finicky process. It's really how the outside looks. Who cares what the inside looks? Like, okay, and you're just going to do it like we do everything else. Slip your needle in and out, in and out, and reverse, and fill in the blanks. And then you tie it off between two layers of felt. And there will be a PDF, and I think it will, especially this portion right here, will be much clearer on a PDF. It's kind of hard to uh, do it and explain it and show it. Okay, I'm tying off my thread. You know, and you can skip any of those layers that you want. It's entirely optional, I just used all six. Okay, the last thing you have to do, and I do this off camera, is you just fill in the holes there on the tail. And it's, you know, the usual stitching method. I went ahead and did that. And Miss Petunia Pig here is all done. Ready for one little girl to love on. Okay, that's the kerchief dye. And if you just take your time on the knot there, you'll be fine. This is really easy to do.
Isn't that little piggy cute? Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.